Here at Trey IV, we run the wheel. For those of you who don't know what the wheel is, there's an article at the uh, bottom of this video to tell you what the wheel is. But basically, we like to sell options at all times in order to collect premium on them. So in order to do this, you actually need a pretty big account size. Now, I know most of us probably don't have like a six figure account size in order to do this. So you might turn to spreads. So today I like to go over what a spreads are. And basically I like to go over put spreads specifically. And I'll do another video on call spreads, but this one I like to focus on put spreads. So spreads allow you to put in a bearish or bullish position and selling premium based on uh, with, with a small account. So let's take an example here. So let's say you look at AMC and you look at the technicals and right now it looks like it's going sideways. Now there's a clear defined support and resistance on this chart. So the resistance will be somewhere around $47 and the support will be somewhere around $31. So it's pretty wide range and if you want to sell puts on it, you actually need $4,400 just to do one contract. Now, if you don't have $4,400, you only have like, I don't know, $500 and you want still to have some position on this directional bet. So how would you do this? Well, let's take a look. Uh, here I have Robinhood open, but you can do this in pretty much any trading platform. First, you go to the trade AMC options button. So now let's just do one week out. So first I want to do a put credit spread. So to do a put credit spread, you want to sell a put at a specific uh, price range. Now this is a bullish position. A put credit spread is for a bullish position. That's when you think the stock is going to go up. So now let's say I'm, it's currently at 44. So I feel like, you know what, it might go up to above 46 and 44 might be a good support right now. So I don't think it will go below 42, for example. So for, for this put credit spread, you want to start with a position that you think the price will not go under. So here I have, a, I say 42 is a book support. So I'm gonna buy one contract here. Now in order to close this, to complete this put credit spread, you need to buy the same expiration range, but the price needs to be somewhere lower so this is will limit your downside so if amc does drop let's say to 38 dollars your your you have a max loss so if i put my buy order here now Robinhood will tell you this becomes a put credit spread so what this means is that you are paying a total of 44 dollars your max loss is 56 dollars your max profit is $44. So this is how much you will get if AMC goes above $42 by the time of expiration. So this is by next Friday. If you think AMC is gonna stay above 42 or even slightly below 42. So your break even point is actually 41.56. So if AMC stays above 41.56, you actually are break even or make some money if it's like you can see from this chart here. You make some money, but if it goes uh, above 42 here, you make your max profit, which is $44. But if AMC does go below it, like right here, 41, and it actually goes 40, you have your max loss here. So you lose a maximum of $56. So the ratio here is pretty good. It's close to one to one, and that's a pretty good bet to have. But it's again, it's pretty like scary because if AMC is a very volatile stock, so if you have a pretty low breakpoint of 42, it could easily go below 42, 41, or 40. So basically, it goes anywhere below here, you lose a maximum of $55, $56. But if it goes anywhere above 42, you make a maximum profit of $44. So it's a very directional bet and it has a well defined risk and reward. Now let's put a, let's say you have a bearish position. Let's how, let's see how you can do that. So if you think like AMC is about to hit its, uh, its resistance and you think that it might actually go back down, uh, here's how you could do a bearish position with a spread. So first you want to buy a put, right? So you want to see like, 
I think AMC will drop below $42 by next week. So I want to buy your puts first. And then you want to sell your puts. You want to hedge your puts. So I want to go somewhere lower. So let's say 40. So now this becomes a put debit spread. So put debit spread has also its own well-defined risk and reward ratio. So as you can see, my maximum profit is actually $123. But my maximum loss is whatever I receive here, whatever the debit I receive, so which is $77. My maximum loss is $77 in this trade. Doesn't matter how far AMC go out of my strike price, you will still only lose $77. And your max profit is $123. So let's see how this works. So if you look at the break even point, let's see the break even point. My break even point is when AMC is at $41.23. So that's somewhere in between our strike prices. 42 and 40. Now, if AMC goes above 42, which is right here, if AMC goes above 42, I lose all my money. I lose $77, my maximum loss. But if AMC does start to drop next week, so remember, this is a bearish position. You're thinking that AMC will go below. So with this, as long as AMC is below 40, like somewhere around here, you still like break even kind of. But if your AMC goes below 40, you make the full maximum profit of $123. So this is how you do a bearish position with a push spread. Now, as you can see, you don't have to put up a lot of money for this position, right? So compared to if you sell a put outright, which is $4,400, you have to put up. This, you only have to put up $77 for this. So you have a well-defined max loss of whatever you put in. And you have a max profit is a bit more than what you put in so that's the bearish position bets on amc now if i like move this up a little bit as you can see like the relationship between this um let's see here so the higher i move up the lower my cost is right so you have a very tight range for 42 and 41 so if amc goes above 42 you lose all your money of 44 dollars but if amc goes below 41 or 40 for about we go to 41 or below you make the maximum profit of 56 so you know as you can see as you move closer to the ranges your maximum profit gets smaller so yeah that's a pretty simple introduction to put credit spreads and put debit spreads you can use it to put a bearish or bullish position on amc and we without putting up a lot of money up front so I have not done much spreads in my Trey IV adventure or doing wheels. I do exclusively wheels because I have the account size to do it. But if you don't have the account size to do it, spread will be a good option. Now, keep in mind that spreads will, like if you, if you are wrong on your spread position, you will lose all the money you put in, which is whatever the initial cost is. Compared to a wheel where if you sell a put on it, if you if it if go past your strike price, you will get assigned 100 shares. So in the end, you get to hold the stock until it can get back. For this, if you're wrong, you lose the money. You lose the trade. Like the position is gone. You don't get to keep 100 shares or anything. So don't worry about getting assigned. So I hope this is useful. I um, Make sure to check out tradeiv.com if you want to try this app. It's pretty useful to help you get your trade going. You, know, you get all the information you need, your news, your analysis. Um, even some sentiment with it. So yeah, check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stick around for my next video on call credit spreads and call uh, credit debit spreads. See you guys next time.